All right, hey everybody, it's me, Lou, from the future. Uh, I'm still hanging out in the attic of the me from the present, uh, which in general, you know, sucks big butt. Uh, but today it's not so bad. Today is Thanksgiving and the entire family is all here. They're all downstairs. Not a single one of them knows I actually exist. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Uh, let's, let's jump right in. Lamont Picard says, uh, what about diseases? Is there a new virus every two years, like right now, like bird flu, swine flu, and even freaking Ebola lately? Is there some sort of Lou flu? So there is a, a, a virus that hits every two years, the uh, two-year virus. It usually takes about two years to, to run its course through your system. It's kind of like a, a 24-hour bug that lasts for 17,520 hours. It's pretty common knowledge that all of the adult diaper companies got together and created this virus so they would have job security, if you know what I mean. Freaking Ebola, as you referenced, is basically the same as regular Ebola, only it dances a lot nastier at the clubs. All of that is completely different from the Lou flu, basically, you know, what I'm doing right now, trying to infect all of you with truth. A man says, how many fingers do I got up behind my back? I don't know. Two? But that's wrong. I wasn't holding any up. I do not know how many fingers were up behind your back because I come from the future, not from inside your brain or from behind your back. I think you may have been a time traveler confused with being a psychic. Or you're not confused at all and you believe that the number of fingers behind your back is actually you know, historically relevant enough for all future generations to uh, study it. If that's the case, then I'm sorry. That's on me. Um, I did not take any finger history classes. CinemaSins wants to know how many views do these videos have in the future? All of them. I have all the views in the future. CinemaSins also wants to know, did you ever watch your videos before you went back to make them? Yeah, like I said, all the views, even my views. I even like them all, except for the one that I make uh, next March. I didn't like that one. It was a little too existential, maybe a bit pretentious. Squirrely Boy says, uh, is Pokemon still as popular as it is now, or does another fad come along and replace it? I don't know. I'm not a nine-year-old boy in the future. What even is Pokemon? Like a Jamaican porcupine or like a really slow Jamaican? Jamaican that likes to have a lot of sex? I don't, I don't know. K Sab wants to know, do I become even sexier than I am right now? You actually uh, stay the exact same sexy as you are right now. Everybody else gets less sexy in the future. So by virtue of your sexiness not changing, uh, you are actually perceived as sexier. Ocean Sage says, do people still pirate music in the future? Yeah, but all the pirates have terrible taste in music, so no one cares. A Tork Hansomson asks, uh, is there Spocks in the future? Tork, I don't want to make too big a deal out of this, but there's only one Spock, okay? And if he does not exist in the future, what's the point of all this? Bryn McCullough uh, says, uh, a friend of mine is also from the future. Good for your friend. Um, he wants to know, why didn't you go further back into the past? And number two, isn't telling future information from the past against the time travel terms of service? All right, I didn't go further into the past because things are terrible there. People die from like cleaning themselves with poop water. They wipe with leaves instead of flushable wipes. You could get stepped on by a dinosaur, listen to disco music. As far as the second question goes, yeah, it is against the rules because um, it might alter the future. I mean, that's the whole point of what I'm doing here. The current future that we have, like, it has it coming. It had its chance, it blew it, now we change it. So this all actually brings me to another question. Hayden Spence wants to know, at the end of the last video, you say, fix the future. What happened to screw in the future? I just wanted to be clear that we should screw our current future, not the concept of future. Fixing it was a reminder, and now that we've all been reminded, let's fix it together by screwing the future. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for asking all the questions. You can check out all these other um, things going on on this channel. Those are t-shirts and subscribe and stuff like that. So you keep the questions coming. I'll keep answering them and together we can screw the future.